U.S. Supreme Court is siding with the local Asian American ban that's been fighting a long time to trademark its name. Yeah, the Trademark and Patent Office had refused to license the slant, saying that name is racially disparaging. But the justices unanimously disagreed. Our Tim Becker following up on this unique case that we've been watching for a few years now, Tim. We certainly have, Jeff. And you know, I had a chance to sit down with Simon Tam. He's the band's founder. In the end, he tells me that his fight to trademark the name Slants was all about free speech and taking what he calls an outdated, obscure racial slur and flipping it on its head, making it something he can be proud of rather than ashamed of. I, it's been about the principle, I would say, for the last six years. Simon Tam tells me he is humbled to be part of such a major landmark decision. It's extraordinary that we've been able to be a part of this. A precedent for thousands set by just a handful of musicians who simply refuse to lose. It's thrilling. I mean, it's really exciting to be a part of this bigger conversation. And at the same time, to know that we were able to put Asian American issues on the forefront. Tam started the slants in 2006, but five years later, when they applied to trademark their name, the government refused, arguing in its Supreme Court brief that nothing in the First Amendment requires Congress to encourage the use of racial slurs. There are thousands of really gross trademarks out there, and no one thinks the government is associating with or endorsing those vulgar, kind of gross, sometimes silly trademarks. But the Supreme Court disagrees, Justice Samuel Alito saying, contrary to government's contention, trademarks are private, not government speech. Today's unanimous ruling, never gonna settle, no. A surprise even to Tam, who felt his chances of winning were good. I can't believe we got people from every political side to actually agree on something. That, that was pretty extraordinary as well. And what is next? Music, art? <laughs> Art without a legal case on my shoulders. <laughs> but we're hoping that people will take a look um, at our work as well as take a listen to our music and hopefully we can win them over that way as well. Well, after a couple of years of pain himself, Tam tells me his attorneys then decided to take on the case pro bono, but he still took a lot of second, third, and fourth jobs to pay further research and legal fees. He figures the total value of the effort is in the millions of dollars, but hey, he says it was worth it.